everyone. Today, we are exploring the relationship between mode and atmospheric turbulence. Welcome to Traveling Through Turbulence, the second episode of our small series of video, Kailat Academy. On the first episode, the conclusion was that to spread laser communication, one of the missing components is the standard interface between the free space beam and the existing single mode fiber optic architecture. A naive solution could simply be to use a telescope to concentrate the incoming light directly inside a single mode fiber. Unfortunately, it does not work like that. The standard telecom architecture relies on single mode components. And by definition, these components only admit one mode of light, the fundamental mode or Gaussian mode. And this is where the problem arises. When light propagates through the atmosphere, it experiences perturbation from the turbulence. Indeed, the air is not homogeneous nor static. So the type of the ground, the effect of the sun, the wind, a lake nearby, all those elements will modify the pressure, humidity and temperature of the air. These modifications occur at a large scale. This is how birds fly without flapping their wings, for example, but also at a much smaller scale down to a few millimeters. This locally modifies the optical refractive index, which in turn impacts the light properties. Finally, these turbulences occur at a very high speed, up to the kilohertz, or in other words, 1000 times per second. What is the link with the mode I mentioned previously? This fast refractive index change modifies the wavefront of the light, causing beam wonder, beam spreading, or scintillation, all those effects that degrade the wavefront profile. After propagation through the atmosphere, the beam is not Gaussian anymore. The light will be comprised of multiple modes or shapes that are superimposed and all have their own phase and intensity. And unfortunately, these multiple modes cannot couple to single mode fiber, which in the end, degrade the optical communication link. To overcome this, we need to manipulate the shape of the light, to recreate a Gaussian beam of the same energy. Question is, how can we do that? And this is for the next episode. Next time, I promise, I will talk about the MPRC and how we can couple a perturbated beam into a single mode fiber. Until then, I want to thank you very much again for listening and see you soon for the next episode.